this problem involves the addition and subtraction of actually three fractions. But since the denominators are different, we have 3a, 2b, and 6ab, we cannot just combine the respective numerators. We will have to look for the least common denominator, which is the least common multiple of the three denominators involved. For 3a, we have 3a. And for 2b, we have 2b. For 6ab, we actually have 2 times 3 times a times b, which are already here. And therefore, the least common denominator is 6ab. So we can combine these three fractions into a single fraction with common denominator 6ab. 6ab divided by 3a is 2b, and that's what we multiply to 4b. 6ab divided by 2b is 3a, so we have negative 3a times 5a. And 6ab divided by 6ab is 1, so we have positive 1 times these terms, so we have 9a squared minus a b squared. Distributing 2b, we have 8b squared. Distributing negative 3a, we have negative 15a squared. We'll just rewrite 9a squared minus 8b squared and divide everything by 6ab. And then we combine similar terms. If we combine the b squared terms, we'll have 0. Negative 15a squared plus 9a squared is negative 6a squared divided by 6ab. We can divide negative 6 by 6 and we have negative 1. a squared by a is a. And then we have b in the denominator. So the result of these operations on these three fractions is negative a over b.